Hey, Am I on? Mm -hmm. Good morning and welcome to the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary located in Mays Landing, New Jersey. We're 45 minutes from Atlantic City, half an hour from driving, and we are about an hour from Philadelphia. Wherever you're from, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, we have people watching from further and further away, and it's always so I exciting. have comments. For us. Yay! Matt has comments. I see Antoinette he, Paulin. He did troubleshooting all week trying to figure out what was going on last week. <laughs> and I think it might, is my... Uh, Wait, I want to make sure the sound's working good. My sound's working. All right, so let me just unplug this and plug it back in just to make sure. Okay, so let's just film the baby goat for a second. All right, baby goat. I believe it's working perfectly. Ask him how they can hear. How can everybody hear? <laughs> Nikki the parrot is laughing. Uh, can everybody hear me? Yes, I see comments. I see we Kim. see comments. So you see Kim? I Kim. See Kim, yes. Kim, can you hear me like on our volume? Is that good? Debbie Carpenter from Illinois. All right, Nikki, Nikki's deciding to be loud. So, is our baby goat. He is now nine weeks old. His mother decided that she didn't want to feed him anymore. And goat's milk. All right. And they said last week was hilarious. <laughs> This week, we're going to try and make it nice and smooth. Uh, I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Thank you all to uh, whoever gave for Giving Tuesday. It was, he's, I know he's trying to eat my hair and microphone. Aren't you, my little bad boy? He is the baddest boy now, more so than any of the other bad puppies. He, as you know, he ate a $200 check. We have not been able to uh, deposit that in the real bank since he deposited it in the Nemo bank. Um, we haven't figured out exactly who sent us that check yet, so we're very sad, but we're going to try and figure that out. So we know their account number, right? <laughs> Stop, Matt. Yes, we do know their account number. Um, <laughs> um, thank you about giving Tuesday. Now he's really eating my hair and the microphone. Hey, you be a good boy. Oh, uh oh, it's glitchy. Yeah. Okay. You know why? It might be my butt. You think? I mean, my butt. No, no. Just Could it be down. this thing? No, just this. Let's just try this and move it. We're trying this again, guys. From early on, hopefully. Sometimes it's other people's internet, too. So thank you uh, for all who gave for Giving Tuesday. I tried to say this three times already. Uh, it was, you know, a great success. Everybody's been donating since the 21 cats were dumped. And as an update for the 21 cats, we got over half adopted now. We just had somebody else pick up. Uh, one of theirs this morning. They have already been spayed, neutered, all of their shots. They were tested for feline AIDS and leukemia. They were giving meds for worms, heartworm present preventatives, and also ear mites and flea and ticks. Mm -hmm. So they are good to go once you pick them up for another year. So after a year happens, then they get a one-shot rabies shot when they're when if it's the first time they've ever gotten a rabies shot which they all have it's all their first time it's only good for one year after that when you go to your vet you can get a three year after but their first shot always has to be on one year um, so you're good for a year and then you can go to your vet with the kitties and uh, make sure that they're all up to date on all of their shots so so everybody says the sound is clear okay great well i sound just is wonder clear. though is if they can hear you louder or me louder, because if is Matt louder or am I louder? Is anybody? Because if I'm louder, then if Matt's louder, louder, ouch, Kitty, Steve, Steve, what's the problem? <laughs> Steve, his name's Steve, and he's usually a sweetheart, but he's really not. What are you doing? You're not liking me today. He, you know, I can't even be working on my computer and all the animals, especially the goat jumping up on top of the computer. He already ate a Macintosh wire. He ate the $200 check. He ate a part of a $20 bill. He ate my wire that hooks as a light for my, because everybody knows I work from home. For once, Nikki's being quiet. I'm on mute a lot when I'm on my Zoom calls because I'm sitting here like this and I hear, all you hear is all this ruckus in the background. So if I have to speak, I'm like, Shh. 
<laughs> and then I get Jessie on. Jessie said she's coming to the funny farm for the first time today. Jesse, welcome. When you come, look for me in the cowgirl hat and uh, we'll give you a good tour. <laughs> All right, if you're coming for the first time, make sure you sign a waiver. It's on funnyfarmrescue.org. It's the left-hand side of the page. It'll say visit waiver form here. Fill it out. You can use your phone or your computer, but just hit submit. You don't have to print anything, but that's important. We used to do them by hand on paper. We're saving trees, so then we switched over to iPads. Then COVID came and the governor said, mm, they're not so good. We better not use those iPads because they're germ carriers. So you put your own germs on your own phone and then hit submit. Um, we do ask you to wear a mask since it is the governor's orders. We are trying to keep safe here. We've been lucky so far, I think, because we're outdoors and everybody um, is practicing social distancing in their masks. Uh, we've, been, we've been really lucky. We always have had hand sanitizer stations and hand washing stations before it was the in thing. We were first. Um, us and probably a lot of other animal places just because poop happens here so we yeah, always Megan have to make sure rochester. megan from rochester yeah, hi, megan. do you know does She's she the know matt the dog that oh that dog. megan mm -hmm. okay yeah. all right hi megan i know who megan is yeah um so um I can see comments today. Yes, Debbie Carr. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie Carr. Matt can see comments. They said you're louder than me, so oh, good. good. So that's work. It's always good yeah. if I'm louder than um, him. Eleanor loves your shirt, but everybody wants to see your boots. Oh, <laughs> I, these are my boots. These are teal and like brown and black and so and I have black is not the best color for me, as you can see. With I don't know if cat. you. I don't with the white cat and white, you know, white buddy and the white. There's just white everywhere. Do we even get Adele? Is Adele awake? Yeah. Okay. She's in here. I, I didn't know where Adele was. They're I haven't seen her. Very sorry to hear about Mufasa. <gasps> All right. You knew don't. that was gonna come. No, I didn't. Um, thank you for everybody's nice wishes about Mufasa. Um, I really thought that uh, he was gonna make it. He kind of had a resurgence of energy and a lot of times that happens when somebody's going to die um you know they get up and he went and went to the litter box and actually went to the bathroom and i thought okay he's going to be good and then after that he started to shake and it was kind of his last throws of life and um but i really thought that he had a chance so thank you guys all we don't usually post death um i was kind of mad at matt for posting the original ones because it was too early to tell and i don't like to put it out there and people fall in love with him and then you know something like that happens because it's hard enough just for me alone but um somebody said a really nice comment they said animals don't measure time like people do and even if he was only alive a few days that meant everything to him um and he was loved and cared for. He was in an incubator, keeping warm so he was never, ever cold. If he wasn't in my lap with feeding, when he went to sleep, he was sleeping in the incubator. So he was, he was loved and warm and not hungry. So that's all we can hope for. And you can see I miss Mufasa too. I know, baby. It happens. He, somebody gets very attached to the animals. And... Uh, it is hard for them as well. They're like looking for them. When somebody dies, we always have to show them the body. It sounds morbid, but you have to let the other animals know where they went. Or they just... What are you trying to say? Okay. You can, you know, don't you wish they could just speak English? They... Debbie Carr said we needed to hear stories like that so we can say prayers too. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. And it made me feel better because I was like mad. Like, oh, why did we post that? But um, it doesn't have... Very good. Tucker, come here. Come yeah, here. The reason you come picked here. up all those baby beds in the back is so that they go. Oh, <laughs> yes. So you see the baby beds behind me? Those people donated them. Everybody do that donated, your beds are being used. We just have to pick them up when the goat is running around <laughs> amok because guess what he does? He trots over and goes either up on my couch, hence the little throw rug, throw things, covers, and he'll pee on my couch or... I think that's hope. That is hope. Okay, there goes hope. <laughs> he'll either pee on my couch or he'll go right over to the brand new dog bed and take a pee pee. He is the pee pee machine. So we're um, trying to be proactive, picking up all anything that he can either eat, which is not always good. 
I can't do it fast enough because he eats everything, or the, the dog beds. So, hi, Steve. Here he comes. Oh, now you want to say hi? He's a nice boy, isn't he? Yeah. This guy uh, returned. Can you imagine returning this little guy? I know. But uh, he was not the same cat from when he came. Now he loves all the animals. Right? There's Doug. Is that your... You want to play with him? Mary Jo says she's glad that you posted the Mufasa story because it, we need more humanity in the world. Kudos to you. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. Like I said, I was uh, kind of second-guessing myself that we, sh that we shouldn't have posted that. But, uh, but it really... He was a really sweet kid. A really good time while he was here. And yeah. that's all we can do is try, right? Animals a chance no matter what... Somebody wants to. Somebody wants to be the one who's. You want to do the show? Here you go. The thing is, he's here you so go. quiet. All right, all ready? Time. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Let's do the show. You, you're the one who's doing it. All right, ready? Hey, Tucker. Tell the story. Tell them thank you for giving Tuesday. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Sit. Sit there. He's not going to eat my hat. All right, now you sit here. You tell the stories. Go ahead. All right. All right, now what are you going to say? <laughs> what are you saying? Now he's all quiet. Say B U N N Y in my bedroom. Oh, yeah. And he loves them. Yeah. And he's uh, freaking out because he wants me to go get them. Janet wants to know if she can visit today. Janet, you can visit. We're open every Tuesday, every Sunday without fail, no matter what the weather. It's chilly. Let me tell you, it's a, it's a chilly day. Uh, for those people who asked last week, they said, it looks really warm. It was super warm for November. It's 39 degrees here. In okay. uh, New Jersey. We have to go sit on the couch for a second. Uh oh, we have to go sit on the couch? Yeah, because you're, every time you move, you're messing up. Oh, excuse me. All right, well, we, well we, can, we don't need to change. Let's go, we'll go take a walk outside. Cause no, I'm going to change microphones. We're going to change microphones in the middle of this, Matt. Really? Yeah. It'll be so good. only Matt in the middle of our live video. Well, let's just go. We're going to change our microphone. <laughs> Are we having issues? Why didn't you put that microphone on in the first place? Well, because that one's good, too. Well, obviously, it's not good, too, if right, we're changing to microphones. Camera. Normally, take a second. <sighs> Joe, we didn't get our new video person yet, as you can see. Stop. We're still working on that. Okay. Um, Joe must have not have been watching last week because he didn't answer me. We need Joe <laughs> or Jason to help out. Stop. Matt's it. fired. Stop. <laughs> you only fired me 20 times. <laughs> okay, now stand up just for a second. Okay, don't let's do this. No, don't. Uh oh, uh oh. No, Whoa, there's Nikki. I'm showing Nikki for a minute. Oh. It's out. Oh, Dave's saying Tucky, Tucker wants to go outside. But now I can't fix it because you're. Why? Because you're holding it. Okay, go ahead. You can do it. All right, don't move. We sell coffee and hot chocolate. Oh, so everybody's giving answers. I never watched. Look at the back. That's so cool. We have a little snack bar. It's not much, but they're fun junk food snacks. When you come. Stop. Stop. And, uh. Don't move. So we have junk food. We have a, a store where you could buy food to feed the animals. Um, I don't know if that was supposed to up like that, Matt. It's okay. <laughs> Do we have to put this thing on me? See if they like that better. Did you put something else on? What about yeah, the microphone? On. Okay, it's on. Yeah. All right. How does Obviously, that sound? she does not have a good steady hand. Oh, well, yours isn't even, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. You put a different wire, so guess what? Now it's not level. See, you messed it up, Matt. You can't change up. it midstream. It's not messed up. Okay. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> now see if they like the sound better. Matt wants me to ask you guys, do you like the sound better? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Matt is funny. We love you, Lori. Love your hat. Thank you. Uh, Lori, you're an angel on earth. <laughs> that is so nice. Okay. The sound is much, much better. All right, sound is better. We should have used that in the first place. Are we going to show, let's see. I have to pick him up. I don't yes, know if I do. can. Lori, big boy. So I don't know who remembers Dolly the dentist. This is Dolly. <laughs> it was that little tiny baby chicken that we rescued from Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply employees brought, him brought her over. It was a her, so they thought. Um, and the other chickens were pecking on her and they said it would have killed her. So they brought her over and we didn't know for a very long time that Dolly was actually a Danny. So, or Donnie, whichever you want to call it. He is such a nice boy because he was raised in the house. 
that this big tough guy doesn't know how to defend himself and a little girl chicken jumped on his back yesterday and started pecking the crap out of him. Was so like a bully. she was being a bully and she doesn't know the rules at the funny farm that we don't have any bullying. So he was so hurt and you can actually see some of the blood from his comb um, that we ha I had to bring him in the house. So he is now the third chicken living in the house because, uh, so we're trying to get him better and then maybe he can go outside. <laughs> Um, this is Larry. I know my girls might be watching today. Larry, what are you doing? Larry, hold on. Larry, okay. So this is Larry. He's doing much, much better. He actually jumped out of his enclosure. I didn't really have a top on it. So he jumped out and I'm like, what is that ruckus? And here he was running all around. Okay, here comes Brooke just letting herself in. Excuse us. <laughs> so people are like, who came in your house? It's just a dog. She opens the door. If I don't deadbolt it, she knows how to turn the handle, open the inside door, and then open the outside door. She's, she's a crazy girl. Evelyn and Ray, Frank and I love the funny farm. <laughs> There's always something going on at the funny farm. Um, so Larry, I know that the girls that dropped them off are always wondering, ask me all the time. I want to see how Larry's doing. I'm going to be leaving Larry in the house probably for winter because he is a little frail and we don't know what he went through while uh, he wasn't here. He was found in Philly, I want to say. And uh, the vet had a look at him. He had... <laughs> it's so loud I can't even hear myself think. Amy said you're living a dream <laughs> Come on, Amy. Come on over because I could use a vacation now. Brooke! Brooklyn, down! <laughs> Jesus. Brooke, stop now. Stop. All right, they just pulled out my wire. No, let me see it. Oh, yeah, they did. You're going to put your coat on anyway, right? All right, let's just do this. All right, you two. Hey! Stop it! All right. That's what we're using. Just put it down while you Hold on, please. It's too cold. I'm too much of a wuss to it's not like put my jacket. Out. It's, it's not even 40 yet. And uh, my poor volunteers, some of them are sitting in their car. The girl that's working, helping work at the snack bar, she's like, I'm sitting in my car until people come. Right. We need to have heat outside. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Okay. okay. Here, I'll do that. I can do it. I'm not, you don't I can do it. Do All right. I don't have one pocket. Okay. Yes, I got it. Just don't put your hair on. All right, boys and girls, let's go. Okay, we're ready. All right, you ready to go outside? Wait, let me go this way, Mike. So, yeah, what about the baby? Did what, you feed I the don't baby know. Goat? She, I, all right, wait, I got to get him. Hold on. No, I didn't forget to feed him. I fed him when I got him. When he was sitting on the couch, remember? Oh, here's a doll. Excuse you. Oh my gosh. The milk he ate, Matt, where were you? Oh, when I you were videoing the first time when I was on the couch, remember? Oh, I didn't see that. He ate. I was worried All right, let's go. So everybody has been giving us donations and it has been so sweet. Oh, good morning. Uh-oh, we have something here for us. All right, wait, there's somebody. Shush, shush. Hi. I want to say how sorry I am for poor little Mufasa. Aw, she's saying sorry about Mufasa, and if you make me cry, I'm going to be really angry with you. So let's, can I open, can I open this? Yes, you can. I'm going to hold, have you, because I love that info. Okay. It's for your love of animals, and I just wanted to do something, um, because you never let anybody lose, lose any hope. And you just oh my gosh, this is Tucker. <laughs> How did you do this? I didn't do it. I have an artist friend. Oh air my gosh. I had a uh, commissioned airbrush. It's airbrush. She had a commission, a picture of Tucker. And she was so sorry about Mufasa that she wanted to bring me over something because of my love for animals. And it's... It's my biggest love, Tucker. So thank you yes. so much. I, I, I'm going to put my mask on and give you a, a hug. Okay. But um, 
You're so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm I just love you so much. And everything that you're doing the animals, Thank you so Lori. much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I really Thank appreciate you, you guys. You're welcome. Oh, I appreciate uh -oh. you. There's, there's her, her. Oh, that's her card. Yeah, okay. Card. Here's her card. His painter airbrush. Nice. That's beautiful. That's a great job. Uh, she's from Pemberton. I used to, Pemberton. Yeah, I used to work at McGuire Air Force Base, so I know that area. I love that. that is gorgeous. And this kind of goes with it. I just saw uh, it and I loved it. What uh, it says. Dogs who have a way of finding the people who need them and feeling an emptiness we didn't ever know we had from Tom Jones. Aw. Uh, that's nice. That's awesome. So it's like Christmas early it's for me. Christmas early for you, Lori. Uh, <laughs> God bless you look, always. And, and uh, you can look have at, this too. Look, went, save a life today, neuter or spay. I that's went awesome. To a, uh, a recycle uh, craft fair and uh, they were making these t-shirts and they were giving great. them out. So I said, it's oh, made out. It's a, they made a bag out of a t-shirt. That's so awesome. So your bow's in here. You want to put your Thank, picture? Yeah, I'll put the picture frame in there. I didn't think there. you wanted to walk around with that. I'll so go I, put it in the house. Yeah. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Sorry to interrupt your video. But That's okay. No, Matt this is great. It's okay. I, I this is, this okay is from Matt. This is great. <laughs> what are you doing now? I was, you dropped something. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to just put this in. Merry Christmas, guys. Mwah, mwah. Appreciate it. Come here, babies. Come on. Me, but I'm just trying to get the goat to come out. All right, we're heading outside now. Matt's videoing the dogs. <laughs> Tucker, easy. <laughs> they fight like they're killing each other. Hey, that was so nice. I here, here. Let me fix your microphone. Someone said it's hard to hear you. Okay. Let me fix it. Let me put it on this side. There you go. Okay. Okay. I hope better. that's better. Well, it might be a little windy. hard to hear me because of these guys. Well, that plus they, it's windy. They are just so, so loud. Okay. That was fun. That was really nice. I'm like, I've been uh, a little more emotional lately, it seems like, with everything that was going on. But we're so happy. It's been some really good outcomes with the 21 cats getting... Um, all their shots and spay and neutered and so we were able to get help with that and then a lot of people donated and brought us donations so we're going to be set with cat food until the spring we think a couple months we're going to be set for the winter um, with how much stuff was donated so you guys are amazing and it just touches my heart uh, like you know like these people that just brought me the the painting the airbrush painting it's it, it just it makes me speechless which is hard to do so obviously i'm not speechless because i always talk um here's my girls at the snack bar miss kim and dawn and <laughs> she, we were just saying that we were just saying that you were sitting in your car because it was too cold and then when people come up she comes runs runs out no matt's microphone problems as no, always no, if you keep bumping. i'm not bumping anything okay go ahead keep talking <laughs> so thank you for freezing your behinds off i appreciate did you show dawn oh yeah our, our girl dawn she was, trying to, she was trying to stay out of it yeah so here's our snack bar you can see that we have um lots of lots of kim always makes us all fat we love her she's like the best baker ever and but here's her goodies this week. We have goodies. What are these, Kim? These are corn flake cookies. It's a butter corn shortbread with pecans. Corn flake cookies. Butter shortbread with pecans. Butter shortbread with pecans. Some candy. We have lots of candy, of course. Coffee, hot chocolate, chips. So it's like breakfast of champions here at the uh, Funny Farm. What's the matter, Nemo? He's crying. Mommy's right here. Come here. He says, Mom, it's freezing out. Come here. We need a sweater for you. Come here. Nemo, he's like, Mom, I'm too cold to move. Come here. Come on. He wants you to pick him up. Come on, come on. Look, he's coming. Come on, come on. 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 Come see. Look how cute. 
You want to pat him? Pat him, Andy. Oh, look, he goes right up and says, hello. I'm, he's like, you're almost as big as me. Give him a little pat. And he has little horns. He's a little baby goat, right? That's your size. Not like the other goats who knock you over. So see all, look, he goes, we always say, try not to pet the animals. They go up and just like put their head under your hand, if you've noticed, or they'll jump up on you. Today's Mary Virginia's birthday. Mary Virginia, happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. You want to hold the goat? God, honey. You can hold him. You can hold him. Look, now, he's, now he wants to play, so push, push on his head. Watch if you do this. Come on, you want to play? Come on, you want to play? Oh, yeah, big boy? He's getting, get, he's getting very sassy. So there's nothing cuter than a baby goat. He is getting horns, and he does start to buck people. Um, but a lot of people want to come and see him. So come on over if you want. We have our store where you can buy our t-shirts, our uh, sweatshirts, our books, hats. Now, we have one of our volunteers that knit these hats for us and then she sells them. So if you're too cold and you forgot your winter gear, you can get it here. And who else? Molly, Jolly, and Cindy. Oh, they have their own fan group. I know. It's pretty bad when, She's you know, the like volunteers, <laughs> I think they're, they watch, they kind of like me, mm, not so much. It's all about Molly Jolly. <laughs> if Molly's out of there today. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got going on. Good morning. Hi. And if you want to hide out, you can na can't even see who this person is. I know. If you're like all, I'm you know, you <laughs> Well, it's nice to see you, even though oh. we don't know who you are. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? The baby goat does live in the house. Is he still over? Yeah, he's getting lots of attention. He doesn't come out for long stents, so we'll be bringing him out for a little bit. Um, this is the smorgasbord for the animals. You can see people brought us pumpkins, and they just help themselves as they go. And here's Brookie rolling in the hay <laughs> by herself. <laughs> okay, maybe not by herself. Hey! <laughs> You can see the little ones are the bullies. Oh, Merry Christmas to all your volunteers from Debbie Carr. Oh, Merry Christmas. We're almost there. We're getting there. I guess it is Christmas. It's coming so fast that I'm not quite ready. You can see I saw my pumpkins here. So I'm still kind of in Thanksgiving and Halloween mode. How many mode. animals live in your house? So that live in my house, I have the baby goat, mm -hmm. Nemo. I have eight dogs, three chickens, a bunny rabbit, 20 cats, and a parrot at the moment those numbers change but they usually just grow for a little bit and then they come back matt move your butt because there's a car coming there's caesar yep there's little caesar and then we'll look at the other two goats we did put uh let's go on in here okay or let's not hey, caesar. go ahead matt like i'm trying to get matt to come he just videos whatever he wants and then <laughs> says forget it <laughs> trying to mark my own way over there. Okay, man. I like it because they said they can hear you better than me. That, I like that better too. <laughs> so this is Mary Moo and Lexi. Oh, Lexi's like, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, don't mess. <laughs> look, look at how cute. Hey, be nice to my goat. That's Lexi, the one that came from Jackson and that uh, Marty couple, and Marty and Joy and their rest of their, their family rescued her and put her in the garage, let her live in the garage until they could find a home. Uh, it was in a development and she was on her way to get slaughtered. So her horns used to be very little as well. And look at how long they are getting. So Mary Moo Moo came separate. That's the brown and white one. Can you see over there? She yeah. is um, about the same age, but she came also from a slaughter situation in the, with two brothers and they were going to, oh, they ran away. <laughs> they're, they're gone now. Oh, we're going to, Oh, you're showing Beanie the wild turkey. That I'm sure, Matt, you are showing Beanie the well, wild turkey. Well, you can't turkey. just punch me and say this is how you do it. So this guy was imprinted on. He was used to people. He was considered one of those nuisance animals, and he was he came here, and he is not in a cage. He is free to be a wild animal, but is fairly domesticated. That's a Muscovy duck sitting up top. They perch like chickens. 
because of their nails. Uh, this is the fainting goat, and you can see she's, she, they get stiff like Frankenstein. So this is Stella. She came about 15 years old, 15 years ago. So she's old, maybe not 15, maybe like 13 years ago. But she's pretty old. Her, her partner since passed because of old age, Natalia and Stella. Stella, they came in a garage, but not in a good way. They lived up in North Jersey in someone's garage, and it was not a great situation for them. And the people realized it and said, hey, what can we do? So I, they actually came here before I was a real rescue. So I was just helping out as much as I can. So she acts like the mom to Lexi and Moo Moo, Mary Moo, which is really sweet. Um, she used to live in where the pigs were. She didn't want to leave the pigs. I think she didn't want to be alone. And now she, and she didn't really like the bigger goats. And you could see this is one of those this tubs. This donated, remember? That, that company that donated the, that beer company? For the tub? Yeah. Yes. So nice we made that. an enclosure out of this. This one actually had a little hole in it. So we weren't able to use it as a, a watering bucket yeah. trough. So we went up flipping it over and making a, a cut. And you can see they go in there. They like to hang out. This is it blocks all the wind. They and want that to know gives them a little a extra. This is not a garage. It's this a, is a run out. They yeah. call it a run out or run in. Um, you can buy them. This one actually, my volunteers built Dean and mostly Gig, the 70 some year old volunteer that we have. So there's, you can be any age and do just about anything as long as you're up to it. You can sit and just say hello at the gate, give people directions, or you can come and build stuff if you want. Uh, excuse you, that is not your house, you two. They're like, yeah, but I smell some fresh poop and we would like to roll in it. Get out, 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 out. You ever out. adopt out dogs? We do adopt out dogs. We just adopted out a dog, not these dogs. These have all been, I'm a fa failed foster eight times over. Um, I did just take in a dog and it was a woodle. It was a, what was it? <laughs> a Wheaton Terrier and a Poodle mix. And I only had him for 24 hours. I made sure of that because if he, I, I don't want nine dogs. I don't know why, but nine just puts me over the edge. I'm really close <laughs> now, but uh, nine. Do the goats live, where do they live when it gets to be winter? So these three, because they're babies and young, and this one's kind of special because she's so old. So we have the two young ones and, the, and one of the very old ones living in this area. Let's go into the barn and show you where the rest of the goats live. So that's these three. They're separated because they are, they were not, oh, excuse you, you're not supposed to be digging in here. Ah, ah, ah. Get out, 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 out. This is what the goats, we use this for them to scratch on. They like to scratch on their you know, we all need a back scratcher or a butt scratcher. That's what this is. We put that in there for them. And then they like to get up on the steps. They climb up on here and jump around. Eventually, they will go in with the rest of the goats. But for now, they are not. They're too young to be spayed and neutered. So they are, are separated in here. Come on, dogs. Julie says Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Julie. All right. Let's go in the barn. And you can see where the rest of the goats and our one sheep live. So the sheep and the goats go wherever they want. Oh, here's our normal volunteers doing their mucking, mucking and raking. Hi, good morning. <laughs> She's waiting for the dog, Matt. <laughs> Matt's like, what? Farley. It's even hard to get your chores done because the animals are always right in the way. One of the goats has gone. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> If it's not wet, you can, guys can just leave that. That's okay. If it's not wet, you can just leave this until it gets wet. So these were in bales and the goats decided to have a little party. <laughs> so <laughs> the goats had a party and like said, poof, it's like the pinata exploded. Yeah. So it's just a little extra warmth for them. They can just sit in the straw. So this is all the straw that was donated by people. We did not purchase this. People donated all of the straw, so it's been incredible. We were out, we couldn't even find it. The normal place that I go, they didn't have it. They said they're not sure when they're gonna get any. So it was getting to be winter, not like it is now, but it was getting to be chilly the first time. And, oh, it shows the 40 degrees, Matt, okay. And uh, it was so chilly, we didn't have any bedding for some of them. So we put out a call and volunteers and 
any, all the people that watch us, they came with a bale at a time of straw, and that's what we were able to do. Nancy wants to know if we're going to do a Christmas Eve broadcast. <laughs> we'll do something for Christmas, too. So. We'll see. Let's get through tomorrow. You know, people talk about stuff. I'm like, that's like a year away from me. <laughs> Christmas um, is like 20 days or something. We always show the really nice cat, kitty cat areas. This is our, you know, so we have the really, the posh, the, the, you know, the condo area, the first kitty cottage. And then we have our area where the 21 cats are in quarantine. And it's pretty nice in there. It's heated all, you know, you can polish the floors little. This is a little different. This is kind of like middle class. <laughs> they, it, they have rugs but it's more of an outside atmosphere. They do have the warm areas. Can you guys see this? It's a box that we made and we put the heat lamp in there. And you can see they can still see out, but it's warm in there. There's already two pussy cats in there now. Oh, good, good job, Matt, scare them out. <laughs> I hate this one. Oh, they're both. So these, these kitties are not as friendly, obviously, as the others. We could probably take down the fly trap at this point, but. Yeah. Um, they hang out. Some of them are very friendly, but they don't want to be locked up. They want to come and go as they please. There's about 60 cats that live in here. We have, wait, show up here, Matt. The kitty cat. So they do the little balance beam. They walk. They like to be up high. Then they have a bunch of boxes up top. So they don't, they, you know, they're not bothered, but they can come and go if they if they so choose out you don't, guys no no yes, eating I, said, I mean are you coming to philly oh <laughs> sorry sorry I sue am i might come to philly if we're allowed sue <laughs> no all right <laughs> all right we were on our way to see the goats and the other goats that live here. so this is kind of where the goats live the horses when it's really cold go into each stall and they have the doors that can be closed up um so they can be in here. We, re, we are in the process of trying through, the, through till next summer, trying to redo some of the wood because it does get rotted. This barn has been here a long time. But the, the goats kind of just hang out in the middle or in one of the stalls. They can come in and out. They can go outside. You're okay, guys. Just do it. You're home. fine. You're fine. <laughs> See, these are some of the goats. But a lot of times, hey, don't bother him. Uh, Lily is, is uh, trying to word off those little gremlins <laughs> uh we have sawdust in here a lot of times we, they are scooping it out but for the horses we don't put straw because if they pee pee on the straw it holds the moisture and it never dries so we give them flakes um they're the flakes that we were asking for which is like wood chips like from tractor supply wood chips tractor supply Wait, right? Garoppos, English Creek, any of those places. They, they come in like bales, and we've gotten some of these donated as well. And it's easier to muck the stalls when it's this little, these little flakes, and it keeps them warm. Yeah. So when it gets wet, we're able to just pick it up and dispose of that very easily. We do compost everything here, so it doesn't go in the trash. I shouldn't have said trash. We, we compost everything, and then that's what we use for our gardens later. Um, here's our one sheep. We were up in Haddonfield yesterday. Can I say it, Matt? Yeah, yeah. So we went up to Haddonfield yesterday because a lovely lady named Rosalie donated her car to us. We were so excited. At first I was like, she said, um, but you're going to have to get it towed. I'm like, okay, what kind of car are you giving us? Bring because, your own wheels. You know, <laughs> bring your own wheels to take your car home. So I was a little concerned, like, ah. Uh, you know, we don't want to have more work, but she actually donated her car and it was in great condition. It did need one part. So if we fix that one part, we're going to have a car that has 130,000 miles, but she could have sold it for six or $7,000 and she's going to donate it to the farm. So we can either in turn sell it or we can use it. And I think we're going to be using it because I have my truck. And if any of the volunteers are using the truck to be picking up donations or feed or picking up other animals. I, a lot of times, I'm going to the vet, and then I'm using my little two-seater car with whatever animals in there. So we could really use another vehicle. So we were so excited, but we went up to Haddonfield, picked up the title yesterday, and it reminded me because I just saw. So people are, can donate. So you can donate like they do. What did you say for the, um, the, or the Blue Heart? They have kidney cars. Yeah. 
um, all that type of type of stuff. But here and, is uh, they here, can donate other stuff too, like their like their uh, estates and stuff Ma like that. Matt's saying uh, you can donate other stuff too. We um, are in a few people's estates. Uh, you know, a lot of times we'll have to take their cats, but they will give us part of their estate as well to uh, it's called a bequest and you can bequest whatever you want to us mm -hmm. so you do have to speak to me first before you just give me all your animals <laughs> but uh we usually can work something out there yeah. um this is a new no dumping cats, right? no dumping cats please yes um this is a nubian goat he is a big boy a lot of people come on matt i feel like mr rogers come on in <laughs> This is a Nubian goat. He is, he looks like a dog because he has the floppy ears. The dogs make him nervous, but out you guys, out. Ah, 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 ah. Excuse you, no, get out. All of you dogs, out, get out. Come on, get out. Come on, get out, you're not being good. Come here, get out, all of you. Come here, get out. Come on. You know they're gonna come right back in, but. <laughs> I am. I'm on a live video at the moment. Can I get back with you in a sec? Hi. Okay. <laughs> he maybe just wanted to say hi. It's not an emergency? No. Okay, good. Okay. So, so somebody says, well, they don't see Matt with the, the video camera and they don't know that I have a thing on. But I love when people come up and they still have a conversation. So this is a Nubian goat with the floppy ears. This is an Alpine goat with the stand-up ears. And we have our one sheep. I started telling you about Haddonfield. He was, we had picked him up in Haddonfield because somebody was going to sacrifice them for one of their religious ceremonies and he managed to bust off of his, he had, they had him like on a, some kind of a lead. So he went to the neighbors in Haddonfield and they fell in love with him. He was not real friendly, but they were able to give him food and he ran around for over a week and a half. We tried to catch him to no avail, and finally animal control came and finally gave him a little dart. He, was, he fell asleep. They had to return him to their rightful owners, which you know what that means. They were going to sacrifice him. So the people that were feeding him were so upset that they offered the people $300, and they were able to get the sheep in their possession, and then I went up and picked him up and brought him here to the funny farm. But he, it was quite the story because he was in the back of my pickup truck in a big crate. So people could see me driving through the streets of Haddonfield and it was warm out and the, and the windows were down and people were like, is that the famous sheep? So we have one sheep and his name is Reggie. That was all over the news. It was all over the news and they're all, the people that donated him or surrendered him to us that bought him from the people that were going to eat him or sacrifice him. They still visit, not super often because they're in Haddonfield, but they still visit. So you can still see some of the animal, a lot of the animals that you help here. Um, you always have to just give me a call first, make sure we have space, and um, we usually try and help out wherever we can. All right. So this is this is much warmer in this room. And turn around, Matt. You can just see down here. Lori. What? When I what, Matt? Fast, just turn slow the then. I'm just saying, look, look at them. It looks look, like look. I'm freezing, but it's really the camera. They're so funny. So you can see they, they have the outside door. We can close the doors to keep warm. And then this is the main area where a lot of them just kind of congregate. And we close all the doors up tight when it's cold. We're, we're getting a little heater that hangs without setting the barn on fire. That's, I've never really had a heater because I'm so worried about fires. Um, we do have fire, we are equipped with fire extinguishers. Um, and a little fire alarm in case something happens. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, infrared heaters, right. It's a little muddy here, people. So my really nice boots are getting very muddy. We don't worry about dirt here at the Funny Farm. A lot of people bring second pairs of shoes. Morning. So they bring second pair of shoes. So when they're going to go get in their car, they take theirs off. They put the shoes that they wore at the farm all day into a bag and then they put on their slippers or whatever else they have um what do you want to say <laughs> <laughs> you want to see lorenzo lorenzo but i don't That's, know where he is so lorenzo has been having a tough time i'm not gonna lie to you he is 18 probably maybe 19 by now um and he has a problem with his jaw where his palate looks like it slips so he's been eating lots of bananas but his his health has been deteriorating a tiny bit <laughs> I'm trying to get 
<laughs> Hi again, we're following you. Yeah. I'm trying to get Clyde to come out. Okay. But he won't today right now, but maybe by next week I'm gonna get him out. And he doesn't like the little dogs. The little dogs play with him and torture him to try and get him to play. <laughs> Look at them looking at each other. Yeah. He's like, what is that? If it's a predator, he would immediately go over and try and stomp on them or kick them, spit at them. Um, that's what they do. That's why we don't have predators here because of all the other animals. The little miniature horses will stomp and kick whoever comes in, like a fox or anything like that. This is the baby turkey and the baby peacock. You guys might remember them. They lived in my house in an incubator. Come here, dogs. In a house, in an incubator, and they, they are best friends now. So, hey! Ox oh, that's it. Come here! Get over here right now. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look, he's running to you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Come here puppy. Come here. When I can't get a hold of them. They are really big. Come here. They were in the incubator. I just said that, Matt. I said they were in the incubator in my house, and then they, and then they came outside because it was summertime, and they got much, much bigger. And I thought that eventually, that the peacock. Hey. Uh, uh, you know what? You have to follow through with your animals. You definitely do. And one more, even if on live video, I'm going to follow through. Come here. I got Come him. here. You got him? Very quick. <laughs> you do not do that. No. Guess who's going to be in time out? Who's a bad boy? Naughty boy. No chasing my animals. No. I have to put him in time out because you have to show them. People say, how do they all get along? They, I make them. <laughs> yes, I know, honey. <laughs> This one's going to be in good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you guys. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. No, you're done. You should have been good. But you're not. So guess what? And so, no, you're not going to cry like a baby. Oh, stop. Oh, I know. I know. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's the feed room. He's probably going to eat goat food and say, I'll fix her. But just for right now. So, you know, these babies came from almost death in the beginning, put them in this incubator, moved them to outside, nurtured them, got them to be bigger. They're not still full grown. And then the little, the little guy is chasing them. So we don't want that to happen. We want to want them to know that they're safe here. So when you're introducing a new animal, people say, you know, what happens? They're still fairly new and we have to make them know and understand these are your brothers and sisters. Even though he's only having fun, you know, I don't want to petrify them. So we have to. So Nor'easter Nick is on the train, Christmas train. Oh, Nick is on the Christmas train. Uh, Nor'easter Nick, I'm going to come see you. I heard it. This week, we, I've been hearing the train. I don't know why I never really heard it before, but I've been hearing it this year. The Christmas train, I'm going to go on that, even though I don't have children. I have my fuzzy ch and feathery children. This is the other side of Beanie, and this is his long beard. Come here, Bean. You can see he's very friendly. This is his beard. That shows you how old he is. And this little thing right here, it will come down. Right now it looks like a horn because he's cold. It will droop down and hang like a waddle. And uh, they have, it feels like a lizard, his legs. They're very warm because they have so many feathers and they have like down underneath. So they can, they actually regulate their temperature. They'll sit down on their feet. He's obviously not cold. He's a little chilly, but he's not shivering. He's in, he's in a, a good place. He stays up here most of the time. So you can see we feed him. He eats cracked corn and crumbles and different types of bird seed. And then this is another silky chicken, kind of like Larry in my house. They're, they're little, Do you still so need they're litter young. Pans, litter pans and cat beds? We could always use litter pans. We're looking for some little litter pans. So like when we had the 21 cats, we had some that were smaller and they were in a, they were in a round pen. So we have to put litter pans in every single spot that they are. Look, uh-oh. So the 21 cats, you have some of them adopted? We have more than half adopted of the 21 cats. So there are still a few available. Um, you can come today. Car over here, honey. 
Hi, again. <laughs> so the animals were trying to get to their food and the kids were like, <laughs> because they just are having their way Greg with them. Know, where is Nemo? You forgot Nemo. Nemo is with all of the people. I can see him right here. You want to go see Nemo? Come on, you want to go see Nemo? I know you're worried. Who said that, Frank? Greg. Greg. Craig or Greg? Craig. Craig. Don't, no worries. <laughs> I'm, I'm a good mom. I know I left him in good hands. You can see. He's, he's, by, the he's by the fire keeping warm. Hi, guys. Is he, is he um, having his way with you? <laughs> Sorry. So although it's cold out, the ducks don't care. They don't feel that cold. They love to have water. In the winter, we struggle. We have to put on, uh, we have to put heaters in the ponds to make sure that they don't freeze. And then we are able to clean out the pools pretty easily. So we just dump out the ice and then we put some new fresh water. At least they'll get some kind of a bath if they want it. So we're having a, a little tiny fire so you can keep warm. And here's uh, Nemo playing with people. Oh, look, he's trying to fight. Did you see him? Did you get him? So you can see him fight. So if you play, if you play with his uh, horns, uh, he loves that. yeah, he does love it. And then he, he is strong. I know I'm a little bit worried if he gets too much bigger that he's going to hurt people. He does like that. And I think it's time maybe to get him neutered pretty soon because he's only two months old, but um, I think it's time. That's something you do. I don't try to do that. He's a little, just a two months old. He's nine weeks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And his, his horn, his horns are uh, coming in. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. So he definitely likes to, likes to play. Yeah. Come on, you. Come on, you. Come on. Yeah. He, well, he knows all the dogs since he lives with them. He runs around. If I go to the store, he'll just follow me like a dog. People are like, you just let him. I go to Home Depot. He'll run around. Hi, Lori Ann. Okay. I guess we uh, can, 21 cats yeah, since we're right here. Cats and then we can probably go. Okay. Matt must be cold because he's like, I I'm cold. cold. Let's go. Just because the camera shakes doesn't mean it's me. <laughs> Matt's saying just because the ca just because camera shakes it doesn't mean way. it's him. He's blaming it on the camera. All right. Let's see. They all, Brooklyn, you stay out. Nemo can come in. Brooklyn, you're too... You're too naughty. Oh, ow. oh sorry, Matt. <laughs> sorry. Come here, Nemo. Everyone can come in but me. So, <laughs> so there, these are the areas. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six areas for the 21 cats. We did have some more up there, but now we have them down here. And because some of them have gone home, they have, like I said, all they're ready to go. They've already been spayed and neutered and had their shots. And Rachel wants to come and adopt a cat today, and Dave wants to know how big is the farm. The big is 20 acres. Mm -hmm. uh, you can walk around probably about 15 of them. This is one of the kitty cats. They were, this is R. <laughs> so they were A through U. Yeah. What do you matter? What's the matter, R? We call him Romeo. <laughs> Romeo X-ray. Romeo X-ray whiskey. Lima, Lima. yep. Why, why do you use those words? Because we had 21 cats, so we went through the alphabet up to 21, and no, we just... No, I meant the alphabet. Why you... The phonetic alphabet. You don't even know what it's called, Matt? It's called for, a phonetic alphabet. For it's for pilots. So Matt's trying to say, you know, he's a pilot. And... I'm trying to say you're, you're a pilot. Brooklyn, how did you get in here? Put that back. <laughs> I Look. Yeah, I tried to get in. Brooklyn, out Tucker. Uh-oh. She stole... Brooklyn, out. <laughs> this on, is bro. why you don't go in. Get out. <laughs> she stole the bowl and was running with it. Go out, Brooke. She thought he didn't notice it. There you go. Come on. Out, Brooke. Thank you, Trace. So um, the rest of these cats that are in here are, people say, are they up for adoption? Most of them are. Um, this one goes in and out. Some of them do. This is uh, cookie dough. Yep. Cookie dough and Sammy. These two kind of go in and out. Uh, my volunteers are very attached to them but they all can get a home we've had a few that were a little feral and when i say feral it means a little crazy a little wild and people have said no i really want to take this cat and work with them and they do and when it's one-on-one -on -one, 
it's really great um this one is a gorgeous cat everybody wants her but she's a psycho <laughs> no she's not really a psycho she's she just was not oh say she's like oh you got too close she's one of the prettiest cats i've ever seen but she just has not been handled so if we you know trying to give her shots we had to give her her shots last week we were getting closer and closer to her and then now that we had to give her her shots now she's mad at me again so we just start to get her to trust trust us and then the trust goes out the window when we have to give her meds so um but she's name? beautiful that one i call cindy so, <laughs> so cindy's upset that fifty thousand people watch her every week yes she's like don't look at me don't look at me. she actually is like look at my beautiful green eyes she's like a little model she looks like she should be on a cat commercial except you can't touch her so as long as she's just there with her food showing her pretty eyes that's all good yeah, um some of them have some issues he has a little eye issue that we're always taking care of um a lot of them are just older Where's Grandma? I don't see Grandma. Grandma is one of the oldest cats. Tucker. And Any she's usually right here. Maybe Grandma's sleeping. They have different areas. There's there's a couple cats go over top so they can see. A couple cats in there. They're like, uh-oh. Can you see? Yeah. You're not really showing them that. I can see, Lord. <laughs> so you can see they're they're not super friendly, nor is this one. Look. Look in here. But they have a good place to live, and it's better than living out on the streets or and not have any food. So they have warmth. It is heated in here. Um, this one, we don't have a television in here for them. In the other kitty cottage, there is a television, and we do put that on. Um, those are more for the adoptable cats where people can sit on a couch and really get to know the kitties and see who they want to bring home. This one is more uh, the cats aren't as adoptable. We do show people some of the cats in here, but we just let them know. It's okay, you can adopt from here, but they are not as socialized. Right. So they're just not as friendly. They may not be lap cats. Maybe you don't want a lap cat. Maybe you just want somebody to be, keep you company and see if you can work on it. Oh, the, the goat was asleep in the cat tree. What are you doing, Nemo? <laughs> he loves the cat tree. He's like, I, I, I would like one of these in my house. Look. He's like, I can climb up. Don't jump on top of that <laughs> tent. Do you want to come up here? Come on. He's starting to be the little climber. He was up on top of my center island yesterday. <laughs> now he's trying to eat the camera. <laughs> All right. We do have, uh, let's see, we do have one more, I think, little kitty left. Little, little I'm not sure if this one There's is adopted. No, that one is adopted. People thought that this one was this one lady that's adopting a cat. Looked like Mufasa, didn't it? Yeah, that one does. Looked a lot like Mufasa. He's a little he's bit a little, of a he's, he's a, a fluff little ball. he is a fluff ball. He's a little bit of afraid. You can see he's like ah. He just so needs he extra he help. needs a little extra attention, but he is. Uh, he needs a little more socialization, but Kathy he's pretty friendly. Wants to know, just wondering what Lori does for a living. I know she said she has a full time job too. What is it? So, Kathy, I'm a graphic designer and photographer. I work for the Federal Aviation Administration, so I'm a contractor there and I have been there since 1998. So, I've been there a long time. My contract is up for rebid. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Lori still has a job. Uh, we find out right before Christmas that would be a nice Christmas present to know that we still have a job for five years. Um, that's what's been keeping the Funny Farm running before I became a nonprofit. A lot of people ask, how long have I been here? I've been, I've owned the farm for 20 years. I bought it for my mom and sadly she had cancer and died right before I made settlement. Uh, I, this is not what I wanted to do. People say, how, you know, how did it start? And I always say not on purpose. Um, after she died, I had 35 of her animals and her dream turned into my dream. And here we are today with over 600. Here's grandma I was talking about. She is about 20 years old. So we don't say she's up, she's a sweetheart. But we don't want somebody to take her in and then her live two more years and then break somebody's heart. She is fine here. She's happy here. She's very social. She likes her brothers and sisters. Um, so we have a lot of animals like that. They're not. Susan, the, Susan wants to know if a, if a cat ever scratched you. <laughs> <laughs> Has a cat ever scratched me? That's an understatement. Yeah, I've been I've been bit. 
ripped up. I mean, I just had to, we had to do our yearly shots um, two weeks ago and there was like blood dripping off of me. A lot of people use gloves. I can't, you know, scruff the cats. When you call them scruffing, when you're trying to get a cat, you scruff the back of their necks. Um, obviously grandma doesn't need that, but you scruff the back of their neck and it kind of almost paralyzes them and you're able to pick them up. And then I usually hold his back and then the vet can give them their updated rabies shots and distemper shots. Um, or if you're trimming their nails or whatever you're doing, it helps to have help. Um, Good morning from Alaska. Alaska's watching. That's exciting. All right. What's the temperature in Alaska? Toby Jackson. Toby, what's the temperature in Alaska? If you can hear me. They don't have temperatures. Like they don't have temperatures. They're like below <laughs> temperatures. Once it freezes, it's like. Is it always free? Well, I know they have summer. Isn't it summer in Alaska right now? No, they're not on the other side of the world. Is it, so I thought it was opposite of, uh, no. of us. Not okay, you can tell I haven't been to Alaska. I don't know if I'm going to be going anytime soon with the farm. But the girl that said that she wants my life, she can move in, and I can just do that for a little bit. I'm going to go see Alaska, and then I'll be right back, okay? Yeah. You would miss the animals after 10 I would. I would actually miss. I can only be away from them very short times. Denise, I do. I love you all. Aw. Linda, is the Yogi book almost done? Denise. All right, Matt. Oh. They're asking about the Yogi book. What about it? Is it almost done? It is almost done. And Australia says hello. Okay, he changed it. He, Australia ah. says hello. He's changing the subject very quickly. I've been on him about the Yogi book. Well, we can, have been a little bit busy. We have because you have something else you've been doing. Uh, we've got a few things cooking, so yeah. we just couldn't, uh, you know. But it, now he hasn't been time. able to con concentrate, and now I actually will have some time. Um, I did put a new proposal in for my job, so like I said, that's what we're waiting to hear. Um, and I have a couple other projects going on, but now I'm going to have a little bit of a break. So we're going to make sure I'm going to kick his butt to make sure the Yogi book is done. It probably won't be out for Christmas, but it'll Maybe. be out for the moo year. <laughs> Maybe. He right? Wouldn't that be cool? The, the Yogi will be out for the moo year. His moon okay. Soul. I thought that was funny. I'm sorry. It is funny. <laughs> I was laughing. That was, all of us were laughing so hard. I know. <laughs> okay. Um, any other questions? It is 11.02. Oh, man, we better get going. We, you can tell we had nothing planned today. I didn't really want to talk about, about Mufasa, but um, you guys made me feel so much better. Um, it was heartbreaking, and I cry when anybody dies. I don't care if it's a chicken, a duck. It always hurts me, but when they live in my house and I have so much hope and you put in so many hours and you're feeding a baby every you know, a few minutes, a drop at a time, you, 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 you don't give up. You just keep trying hope beyond hope. And, uh, when they, when they do pass it, it's heart wrenching, but you just, you just have to try. So I'm going to stop talking about that now. Um, uh, but hope, remember hope, the black kitten, I thought for sure hope was going to pass and she wound up coming through with flying colors and how sweet she is. she's a sweetheart and super happy and only has one missing uh vision in her one eye and the other one's fine so yep. we have our successes and then we have our tragedies and like i said it doesn't make it any easier when it happens you know people think oh you get you know you build up a toughness you don't you um yeah. they all hurt but no he's in funny farm heaven division. he is in funny Har farm heaven division i have to and your mom has to clean My mom litter. is up there, and, and she is taking care of him. You can see this guy busting up. We have litter in here, and he goes and just starts bumping his, his horns on everything. I think he wants a hug. The, uh, just to go over this one more time, these horns that he is born with, they start to come up, and they sprout, and they get bigger. They actually have blood running through them. It is not like an antler, like a deer. Deer will have their antlers, and then they shed them they come off and then they grow them back these if they come off they can bleed out so they say you shouldn't really hold um goats by their horns i have um when you're trying to cut their hooves sometimes that's the only way you can grab them and before you can grab them in the right way but um they do get itchy so i massage them and itch them all and then you know think about that if you have something sticking out of your head how do you itch behind it you have to go and scratch for him he tries to scratch it, and that's another reason that they're bucking. They're, they're trying to get them stimulated because they're itchy because they're growing out of Casey's his, out of his head. Casey's the best mom in the world. Oh, thank you, Casey. <laughs> well, on that note, I want to say 
thank you again. And I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you have happy holidays. I'll be talking to you. We well, will one last question. see you. Oh, one from last Linda. question. Qu question from Linda. Yes. Is he, is um, Nemo able to eat any food yet? N actually, Nemo ate his first piece of food. I think it's so funny that you just said that, Linda. <laughs> Other than my hair. Last night, yes, my, one of my weaknesses are potato chips. And I have tried to let them feel it, taste it. I thought, goats like salt. They actually need salt in their diets. Are you eating my wire? Oh, you stinker pot. <laughs> so he already eats, I told you, he eats wires, but he doesn't actually eat them. He just chews through them and then lets them go. I, I had one of my masks in, the, in my truck, and I went to go grab it, and I have it hanging up like on those oh crap handles. <laughs> and uh, he ate the wire, so I go to put it on my ear, and this one just like, bang. He just ate through the through the ear holder. Anyway, what were we saying? Uh, does he eat food? But does Grace, he eat food? Wait, wait, Grace is asking if you need a propane heater for this neck bar area. Uh, that would be awesome, Grace. If yeah. anybody can give us a propane heater, that would be, we would put that up and then everybody would be around that because yeah, that's nice. we don't really want to do bonfires. You're, we don't want the smoke bothering people and going into our store. So a propane heater would be awesome. So if anybody would like to donate one of them, we yeah, would love to have that. So the other thing was so food. what does he eat? So I was eating potato chips last night, and for and I broke off a tiny piece and he went. Normally he just tastes it and it goes, but for his first time ever he went, and then I gave him another piece. He ate like one potato chip, and he kind of liked it. You know what he does nibble on? I noticed when he goes in the house, he'll eat some of the nibbles of cat litter. I said you can't have cat litter; it will stop you up, and then that will, that will Paige be a said problem. That he might eat some of your. Uncrustables. He might eat my Uncrustables. <laughs> he does eat paper. I'm literally, he'll eat chunks of my paper. So goats do eat paper. Sometimes people think goats eat anything. Look, he's learning how to climb. You can see he's like, well, that cat's all the way up there. Bring back up a little bit so they can see the whole thing. So this is one of the cat trees. We also call it AKA a goat tree. <laughs> <laughs> Nemo, this is a cool place for you, huh? Just he's like been out here before, but he can jump higher and further now that he's a little older. I'm a little bit worried Casey, when he gets bigger and bigger. Casey, how many propane heaters do you need? Casey, <laughs> we will take, as we can put one by the snack bar, one near the store. We can put one, we can put them all around. So whatever <laughs> you want to ring, we can use. Um, so. The clock behind your head doesn't work. <laughs> no, the clock behind my head does not work. It is, it is 11.08 in New Jersey time. Yeah. So for those, Toby, watching in Alaska, it is 40 degrees here at 11 o'clock in the a.m. in the morning on a Sunday. That's where we are. And we are close to Atlantic City. I have hair in my mouth. Can't imagine where that came from. I put my mask on usually, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> because no matter what, there's always hair floating around. I think anyone who has a dog has had that happen. I know, but it, it's really bad, and then it's just always, I'm always yeah. spitting out the hair. Um, all right, so we will see you guys next week. If uh, anybody wants to see anything in particular, you can always Toby say the word. Toby it's seven degrees in Alaska. Toby, thank you. Toby said it's seven degrees in Alaska. See, Matt, I told you it's not That's that really cold. That's cold for summer. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> ow, let, let it go. Ow. All right, he's starting to... Uh, you okay? He pulls, he like rips, he actually does rip hair out of my head now. <laughs> I already have like cat hair. It's like really fine and I, I don't need it, any of it to be gone. Thank you. <laughs> it's 22 in Idaho. It's 22 in Idaho. So you guys, oh, he's bucking the cat. Uh-oh. The cats all took off. They're like, what was that? He went. <laughs> uh, you guys are making me feel better because I'm a little sissy all of a sudden. I, you know, I used to always, I, when I put my car hearts on. One of my friends said, it's not cold enough to wear your Carhartt yet. <laughs> so I'm waiting. So I'm not Grace wearing Carhartt. You need to sell your sweatshirts on your website. I know, Grace. We will. We need to, we've been talking about that. I'm, I'm embarrassed to talk about it we'll now. Get, we'll get them up. Trying to get our store going. I guess you forgot puppy. Oh. Saying. Puppy or you mean Gunner? I didn't oh, forget. Gunner. Oh, Gunner yeah. is the one who's in the tack house. He's fine. It's a big whole room. It's heated. He's oh, fine. Um, <laughs> what? Sue McNulty said it's 7 a.m., not 7 degrees in in Alaska. It's 7 a.m., Toby, and not yeah. 7 degrees? <laughs> I, uh, so it's... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
blonde and polished, sorry. Yeah. 7 a.m. in Alaska. Yeah. Toby, I, how cold? I know. I how cold is it? I've been waiting. All right. She probably has something else to do. All right, Toby just watched us for a minute, and she's like, I'm out. All right, she's like, they're just babbling now, like we always do. All right, so Nemo says bye-bye. We'll see you next time. We don't even know what, no, don't eat my hair. If anybody wants to come over, you can come see him. We're open till 4. You have to sign a waiver on our website, funnyfarmrescue.org, if you want to volunteer. We are all volunteer run. So everybody that you see here is here because they want to be and the animals can't feed and water themselves. So you can volunteer any Tuesday, any Sunday, just show up, just as long as you sign the waiver. Uh, Till next time, we love you guys. (laughs) Don't eat my wire.